the most mm. anticipated return of New York City's Brooklyn's finest, GS9's very own Bobby Schmurda. When was uh, when was he released? Last week. Two- About a week ago. Damn, you missed it. <laughs> you missed that one. Damn it. <laughs> He was released about a week ago, week ago. <laughs> Yo, if there was ever an Uber, <laughs> that was the Mario Chalmers. Yo, I just, I, that was the Mario was, Chalmers behind two, it was two to right, right at the rim. Over Jason Terry. That was good. Right that was at the good. rim. Perfect about a week ago, there. literally about a week ago. About a week ago, yes. Uh, Bobby was picked up in stylish fashion from the New York, upstate New York penitentiary, um, where Quavo picked him up in a private jet. Mm. Um, good to have good with friends. With his peoples um, and some Jones. And I'm just going to stop here and say, I told <laughs> this to Kim, so this is, I think it's, I think it's safe because I told uh-huh. it to Kim already. So the Jones weren't that great, they honestly. Were sixes. They were yo, they were just okay. They were sixes, but after six years, after six years, they were yeah, tens. To- <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you guys, yo, I would have pulled Quavo to the side. Like, yo, I've seen your girl, bro. Like, I, and I know she has friends. Like, fam, you couldn't bring anything better. Now you gotta work your way up to tens after you've been in prison for six years. You don't just hop out, hop out the penitentiary. He wanted right some shooters. Yeah, he wanted some shooters. Yeah. Lamb lines, light he's lines. gonna he's gonna bust this shit on the handshake. <laughs> like yeah, yeah. he needs to Hi, work I'm Bobby. himself up to that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm, Bo- uh. I'm Bobby. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Send him home. I'm good now. now. But Bobby was picked up in Styles fashion. Actually, what was really cool about that was so I was like really interested into like why Qua- like why Quavo. Right. I was like, mm-hmm. it's so random. When Rowdy came home, GS9 was parked outside like OD outside of Rikers with the with the Maybags, with the money. And I was like, so like, where was that for for Bobby? Mm-hmm. And then the GQ article came out. Yes. And that was really cool. And I, and I told Kim out that night, I was like, yo, babe, something's different about this like release. I was like, they're, they're, they're filming something there because it's too low. I was like. Bobby's home. Why is it mad quiet? I hit you up. Mm-hmm. I was like, Trev, it's kind of quiet in the streets, but I know I'm in Florida. I don't know if my streets are a little yeah, you different. Know, you know, I stay in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Trev was like, oh, I heard Bobby. But <laughs> in my ear, my ear to the <laughs> ground. Ear to the ground. <laughs> yeah. When Bobby returned. Absolutely. But yeah, man, um, the GQ article came out and Bobby was saying that when he was in jail, he had this vision where, or he had this dream that he got picked up in this private jet. And he was talking to Quavo about it, and Quavo like basically made that a reality. And I thought that was really, really cool. That's and great. it made me wish that I had some like really, really rich friends. My dog just took a shit right there. Great, good job on the mat. Good job. Um, yeah, can't wait. Uh, get a puppy. They said that no, was great. Good time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so Bobby came home. Uh-huh. Quavo made it happen. Uh, what has New York City been like? What has the radio been like? Give me, give me, talk to me about New York. So I've been at work. Um, <laughs> <Just like that. laughs> the, uh, no, I mean, the radio has been heavy. I mean, you know, Flex is being Flex and like previewing stuff that he's going to release with Rowdy, stuff that he's going to release with Bobby. Um, there's also like a rumored Pop Smoke Bobby collab that we could see sometime in 2021. So that's kind of what I've heard on the radio, kind of what I've seen on the interwebs. Uh, I'm really happy that Bobby's home. And like I say, with all these guys, I really hope they live a life that keeps them out of prison for the rest of their life. Because that shit ain't cool. What Bobby did really kind of reinforced the fact that being accountable to your actions is, is still something that will earn you respect. Like, as a man, being accountable to what you did you know, who you are dealing with whatever comes your way as a result of that is, is something that needs to be lauded. Even if you're going to judge him for some of the life choices he's made, like one choice he made was saying, Hey, this is the part I played. This is what I'm responsible for. And I'm prepared to be accountable to my actions. And that is admirable. And it's, you know, a character trait that, you know, another you know, Brooklyn rapper didn't have, you know, 
Shady shots. Listen, man, uh, Bobby said in the GQ article <clears throat> he wasn't planning on staying in New York. And I love that for him. I love that um, kind God. of because and his, his reasoning was good. He said he's like in New York City, the cops are just looking to start trouble with you. So he's like, I'm not going to put myself in these environments where they're just looking to pick on young rappers moving mm -hmm. around through the city. He's like, I'm going to, you know, he's like, I, I love New York for what it is. And I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in and out. But like, I'm going a, I'm to a go see other places. I'm going to go stay in other places where like I can go live and not feel like the cops are, you know what I mean? He's, he just got out of a New York City pen. Like they know who Bobby is. And I think that's a very smart play from a young fellow who's spent six years in the pen. Um, so I hope that, you know, he, Turns this thing around. So he got uh, 50. So he's running with 50. Mm -hmm. All right. Him and 50 partnered up. They're going to be doing some stuff for All Star Weekend in Atlanta. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it looks so like he has some good mentorship. You know, he's going to be linking with Meek Mill. You know, Meek Mill fresh out of jail as well. Um, so he has some good kind of role models around him. And I'm hoping for the best for Bobby, who also said he wasn't really a rapper like that. <laughs> I, I mean, I could tell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we, well, we weren't going to Bobby for the lyrical <laughs> miracle. Hey, no, hey, not I'm at all. It. Um, but we need to just let him, you know, come home and get close to his family, get, you know, acclimated to loved ones, get back into a mentality of understanding that he's free because, you know, being institutionalized kind of does fuck with your head and, and, and make you think that you're not free when you are. And, you know, his, his plan on staying away from a lot of the things that could probably get him sent back to prison is admirable. And I hope it's something that he lives up to. The music, I'm going to be completely honest, he don't make music for me. Like, if it has a hot beat, I'll listen to it. And, you know, I'll definitely check out anything he puts out. But Bobby Schmurter doesn't make music for me. And that's and I'm cool with that. And I'm fine with that. I just admire his his ability to be accountable to his actions because most Someone niggas are not. What do you say? Or do, who makes music for you? Yeah, plenty of people make music for me. I said no one makes music. Yeah, people made music for the me. Baby, do you like that, that new baby song? My little bitch in a masterpiece. Da, 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 nah, that's trash. Man. That song is bad. I like the baby, okay. but I like that, not that song. Um, okay. But not. I, I also saw you post the other day that that every money bag yo song. Every single one. <laughs> every, every single money bag yo song I love. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't heard one that I've skipped. I cannot stand his voice. Really. It is. Just look at my I watch. I got it. time today. That shit is fire. No, I don't. He doesn't do it for me at all. You know my. You know my favorite. He was like, I don't like niggas. I don't like bitches. I don't like nobody. That shit is fire. That's that's you. <laughs> that's you. That's you. I love this. That, 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 yeah. So I guess those are the people who make music for you. But I mean, Bobby. Yeah. I just you know back to Bobby. Happy he's home, man. What are, you, um, what, are you, what are you expecting, I guess, like music wise from him? Like, what are you, what are you looking for? Like, are you looking for an album? No, are I don't you looking need for a, like a lot of collabs. Like if I, if I can hear one, one good song, if he can give us one good song, right. Mm -hmm. Featured on somebody a good, but he's not like, you know what I mean? Like he's not, dab, 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 dab. He, I think he's not on the, um, uh, on the Takashi song with him and Takashi were boys. And he just didn't really have a good flow. But, you know, one good song that sounds good, that does something for New York City and, and gives us a little buzz, I think that'd be it. Ah, oh, you said us. That's cute. Um, oh, you mad. <laughs> that's, that's cute. The, um, I can't help but think of the parallels between, you know, Takashi and, and Bobby. You know, there's nothing similar about them, obviously. Like nothing similar about them, you know. Takashi is a you know a clout chasing, you know, basically character that was created to sell records, and Bobby was Bobby. You know, Bobby was a very ambitious kid when it came to music, uh, but still, you know, involved in street shit. Um, and then I think it's important for people to look at the difference between the two of them, to see the love and like the embrace. Um, with Bobby coming home as opposed to like the disgust and the disdain of Takashi being released. I think it's important for people to see that and understand that, you know, if you're not willing to be accountable to your actions, then don't do shit. Don't do dumb shit. If you're not willing to be accountable to your actions. That's a fact. He's moving real nasty in the streets. Oh, Takashi. Yeah. Yes. He's a nasty nigga. 
And I want to watch the documentary because I know it's good content, but I don't want to watch it because it's Takashi. 